Okay guys, so this question is bugging me for a long time, okay? How much power or how many amps can you actually hook up to this uh, Victron solar charger? Either this one or any of them, okay? But I choose this one because I have quite a few of these. And uh, in the user manuals, it says maximum short circuit amps is 60 amps. Okay, so I don't know if they recommend 60 amps or if that's the maximum and it's going to burn after uh, 65 amps or something like that. I don't know. But what I done here. I connected this solar charge controller to the Hobart welder. Okay, it's 140 amps at a full um, power, pretty much. And this is what I got here. This is the full power. Okay, this is just the spool. That's all the way down, you don't need that. And that solar charge controller is connected right here, where the power is coming out from the, um, from the welder. And of course to the battery, but this is a really kind of a weak battery and I don't want to overboil it or explode it or whatever. So I'm not going to charge it uh, 50 amps, uh, that's what I can get out of this. But anyway, this is not about the battery, this is about the charger. So can I feed this charger 140 amps? That's a quite a few solar panels, right? I mean, I'm sorry, 140 amps at 30 volts, exactly 29.3 I believe something like that well, let's say 30 so that's a lot of power that's a lot of power okay um, so everything is set and I'm gonna just put this on the stand and we'll see if this puppy will survive but first Let's have a beer. Okay, so again, um, I'm not trying to BS anybody here. I just wonder if this is going to uh, handle the amount of the current coming into the solar charge controller. Okay, and I'm just doing this actually for myself more than for anything else. So, why would I? even want to be as myself okay so everything is hooked up everything is ready to go I'm just gonna zoom on the solar charge controller I'm gonna load into the app and uh, we'll see what's gonna happen obviously the battery it's not gonna probably handle it but we'll see okay so let's zoom a little bit here that's probably pretty good right there Okay, now let's load into the app. Quick drum. Okay, so right now nothing is on, everything is off. It's just we have the battery and it shows uh, zero watts charging, obviously, zero volt on the solar. Um, I should mention that, uh, I mean, this is uh, pretty obvious, but the welder is hooked up to the PV in, okay, and the battery is hooked up to the battery, but, you know, just, uh, just, just to mention that. So, the battery has 1245 volts, which is pretty depleted for lead acid, but, uh, you know, how the lead acid behaves. Uh, so. Um, and the charger, I mean the 
the charger, yeah. The welder is set to the max power. Um, so, let me get the handle here. Okay. To turn on the power on the charger, I mean, on the, uh, on the welder, I'm going to need the handle. Okay. And the handle is here. And I'm going to turn this on. Actually, let me get a let me get a meter on the uh, on the wires here. I'm just getting a little nervous, kind of. So let's get this on the plus. Okay. You're probably not going to be able to see that, I don't know, but uh, just want to have, this is probably a little bit slower than this, so just want to have a little more data here. This is all the way up, okay, so still nothing until I press the trigger here, which will actually turn on the welder and that is going to be 140 amps at 30 volts ok so let's see what's going to happen alright ready no amps coming in ok so far I forgot to mention this is set to charge at 20 amps. But it's charging 24.9. And that's a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this. I just don't want the battery, I don't want to destroy the battery. So I'm gonna. Oh, it's actually <laughs> it's set to 25 amps. Let's change it to. 10 amps, okay. So it's going to be set to 10 amps. It really doesn't matter. I just want to see if this is going to hold the power. So let's go again. It's going to take a little time for the charger to stabilize. But now it's at 9.9, 10 amps, okay, charging 10 amps, which is good. Only 134 watts. And that's all it takes. It's taking 4.8 amps out of the, out of the welder. That's what, that's what my meter says right here. And that's it. It's just gonna take whatever it needs. Okay. Because the voltage is a little bit lower, it's 28.2, it doesn't matter. Here it says 4.9 amps and this one is 4.8, 4.8, 4.9, yeah.
okay, I mean, you know, this is good enough. So, <laughs> that proves my theory. Um, I don't know why would uh, the Victran people again limit the power coming into the solar charge controller. The only thing you have to limit is the voltage. And the voltage is 100 volts right here, 100 volts 50 amps, but you can overpower the solar or the PV I guess a lot. I mean, you know, not as much as you want. Obviously, if you're going to go into 1000 amps, something's going to burn. But as you can see, 140 amps and 50 amp uh, solar charge controller is perfectly fine. And I'm pretty sure even 200 amps would be perfectly fine. Okay. I don't have a 200 amps supply, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, that that would be fine because the solar charge controller just take as much power as it needs to charge the battery. Okay, um, that's it. So you don't have to worry about overpowering or overpaneling these uh, solar charge controllers or probably not just the Victron, but probably any of them. Alright, um, that's it for today.